Very exciting day on the Beverage Underground. Larry Smokey Genta, we're here at Bond, Naples, Florida. We're mixing up with the very best products that we could find. Azunia tequila, 100% certified blue agave tequila, and the best fresh juices that you can find. Not only that, we have Jim Riley from Azunia right here. So I've been in Florida all of one hour. I've already got a cocktail in front of me, seen some good friends that I haven't seen for a while, and we're at Bond having a great The band inside is unbelievable. Coming up on the next Beverage Underground. I love to have a Bloody Maria on Sunday mornings. Uh, sure, I, there's plenty of time to drink vodka, but if you get a real high quality product like Azunia, 100% organic, certified organic, all the real good agave, Blue Weber agave, and you can make a drink that's really like a neutral spirit almost. I'm always going to pour an ample pour of Azunia. I'm going to be using Zing Zang. You've probably heard about it. It's got some real great taste to it. A little bit, little bit spicy, but you know what? We're going to spice it up just a little bit more. I'm going to make it in my shaker cup because I really want to shake that up. I pre-rimmed the glass. I used a little bit of blackening uh, seasoning along with some kosher salt, and then I'm going to pour it on right in that glass. I'm telling you, celery. And man, look at these filthy olives. Tell me that doesn't make that drink right there. And a lime wheel. And I'm telling you, that's a Bloody Maria right there. Sorry to tell you, Margarita, but in Mexico, it's Paloma. And we're going to make a Paloma cocktail. And these are delicious. I'm using grape juice, and I'm using even better tequila. This is the Reposado. Reposado, for those that you don't know, means rested. And this is rested in Jack Daniels barrels before it gets bottled for Azunia. And that's, uh, that is a winning hand if I ever heard one. So we're going to start out with, a, as always, an ample pour of the Azunia Reposado. Azunia Agave. This is pure agave syrup. Just a dollop of that. I'm going to put my fresh Indian River grapefruit juice in it. We're going to shake this up real, real good. So we got grapefruit juice, we got agave syrup, and of course we have the Azunia Reposado. I'm going to put a little bit of salt on this, but only half a rim. That way it gives the, the guest the choice to, to put it, to use it or not. And now the kicker. This is what makes it refreshing. I'm going to add a little bit of ice, and I'm going to top it off with soda. Sorry, Margarita. This Paloma wins every time. Like I said, I like to use the best products, so I'm going to use the Añejo now. I'm going to use Azunia Añejo, and I'm going to use it with Kahlua. And here's a little history lesson. When Kahlua first came out, one of the most popular drinks that they were trying to sell us was called a Brave Bull. Well, it's time, because now we found the right tequila to put in it. Again, ample amount of Azunia, not so much Kahlua. And I'm telling you, that's you're ready to go. This is a delicious, delicious after-dinner drink, and it's a brave bull. <laughs> right? We are back, and I'm real excited to have Jim Riley here, because the more I read about Jim Riley, the cooler you are, man. Baja racing? Hey, you know what? you got to do what you love, and I love Mexico. So, you know, we spend a lot of time in Baja racing cars. How long have you been doing this? And you're like, you're a champion. You, I saw the Azunia car just <laughs> cutting the truck, just cutting through the desert. Well, we, we've certainly been lucky enough to win a few races down there. Uh, news keeping track. We're having a lot of fun. Uh, and this is my eighth season. And I came off of last month winning the Mexican 1000 in the vintage class in a 1971 Nova, 1,200 miles. I think I had that car, man. <laughs> I think I might have had that car. You know, and you're talking about... Uh, First place, and I want to talk about this great tequila that you make, man. Now, when we first met, it was 2009. The brand had just gotten to Florida. I think you were in six or eight states then? We were in eight states at the time. 
We were as green as could be. Uh, of course, we came off of another great brand, looking to create something fantastic with the Zunia tequila. And um, I think we got in the right places at the right time. And I told you then, I'm telling you now, we're here to stay, and we're having a great time in Florida. If you're keeping score at home, it's 46 states now, and you can get this in your state. You can ask for it everywhere. Azunia Tequila. And, you know, I know the background of the name, but would you please to let everybody know, because it really pays tribute to the heritage of the brand. Yeah, and, you know, we like to surround our ourselves with great people, and the brand itself comes from the Sergio Zuniga family. Um, so we came up with the name Azul in Spanish means blue. Zuniga, we combined the two words together and we came up with the Zunia. It's great, it's fitting, um, you know, with the blue agave plants that are down there and the great people. It's just like when I got here to Florida, Case Price picks me up from the airport. I'm here at Bond, you're standing out here and we're drinking cocktails. And what's better than that, you know, and that's why I really wanted to show some of the different applications because unfortunately, tequila, since 1957, when the champs came with that song, has been kind of a shot and, and a margarita. But this, this spirit here is more than just tequila. For those that shy away or had that bad experience with tequila, this is really a beautiful, clean, neutral spirit, and thus the 100% certified organic. Yeah, and what I like that you've done today is that you've shown some easy cocktails to make. When you look at your ingredients, it's one or two, simple shake, and you're, and you're making cocktails. And what's great about that is that people at home aren't afraid to make a cocktail when it looks that easy on your show. They're encouraged to go out and buy a bottle of Azunia, buy some Zing Zang, buy some great-looking olives, and garnish it up and make great cocktails for their guests. And you're right, it's a very neutral spirit on the Blanco. We actually aerate that a little bit before we put it in the bottle. I don't know if I told you that before, um, but that kind of tones it down a little bit sure. so it becomes very mixable. What's next? Well, we just want to stay focused on doing a great job and building our business. Uh, like I said, we surround ourselves with great people. Stay true to who we are, organic tequila, Jack Daniel barrels, aged Añejo and Reposado, and uh, just grow organically and, and, and teach our customers and consumers all about who we are and keep telling our story. Um, and you've been wonderful for that for us, and we really appreciate the partnership. We're pouring it on. We're connecting the industry with Jim Roddy from Azunia. Thanks, brother. Yeah, great my, to my see My pleasure. You. Thank you. Thank you.